Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of School of Dragons on the Ninja Knight Fury YouTube channel. Um, so today I think we are going to spruce it up, well not spruce it up, spice it up a little bit and take a quest from, not from Hiccup. Normally people head straight to Hiccup because he always has a first quest. Let's try getting a quest from, hmm. You know what, let's go to Burke and get one from, from Bucket. I want to see whether or not Bucket has a quest. Alright. Also, we have a gliding dragon, so I can't fly. Um, uh, well, in the last episode, I asked you whether or not you, uh, I, I asked you guys whether or not you had seen the, um, what is it again? They had the rune stone, and actually, no one has um, voted in that poll yet. I'm serious. I'm when I checked just recently, like uh, three minutes ago, actually. Um, I checked, and when I clicked on one, it was 100%. And then when I clicked another one, it, that one was 100%. So, yeah. Please ch check the polls of the videos, because it really helps out with what I. It was decisions that I'm having a problem making. Sorry for hearing a little bit of rustling. That was my shirt. Alright. Ooh, Astrid has a quest. Ah, uh, nah. Let's go with Bucket. Let's get going with Bucket. Um. I'm not really sure whether or not you can hear the background noise because I didn't check before I started recording. But I hope you guys can. Because background music is always better than nothing. Because I once tried making a view with no background noise whatsoever. Well, actually, no, the first, the first video that I made, which was, um, last week on Monday. Yeah, that, the beginning of it didn't have any music, and I was like, oh, I feel like I'm missing something, because I have to listen to, because I have to listen to something as well. I can't just, like, fuck, it's not over here. Um, uh, because I can't just listen to nothing. Whenever I'm playing this on my, uh, on my own without recording, I turn on the music and the background noise. That way I have to, I'm listening to something because no music makes it an uninteresting game. And Bucket does not have a quest. Great, just great. But, well, it mulches down here. I don't really want to fall down there all the way. Um, uh, let's go up there and get a quest from Astrid. Yeah, I think that'll do us some good. Get a quest from the girl who throws axes into tree trunks and tries to kill them, but doesn't kill them because they're trees. Anyway, I just realized that her quest might not be that fun because one of her quests is getting stuff for a sandwich. And I was like, well, I'm not really into sandwiches in this game anyway. And then she told me it was for Hiccup, and I was like, oh, well, I can't do it not for Hiccup. Um, anyway, uh, a thoughtful gift. If I'm going to make one of- I'm gonna make Hiccup one of my delicious sandwiches. I just talked about that. Alright, what exactly does she need? Uh, bread. And then eggs. And then meat from fish legs. The eggs you have to get yourself, and that is the most tease part of it. I hate getting eggs, because I don't like farming. Because I'm always terrible. Because I'm always terrible at it. This is actually uh, a timed quest. It's supposed to come around every Halloween. And I'm not, I don't have enough. You know, they should, oh. Uh, I just had an idea. They should have a locked limit. Quest. They should show every single quest, but in order, and, um, uh, UDT points, or dragon XP points, or viking XP points for, uh, uh, for locked. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, what I'm trying to say is that the quests would be locked unless you had a certain amount of XP from your dragon, from your viking, or ultimate dragon trainer points. And so that way, it would be a little less confusing on which quests go where. Because you could do a quest, um, you could do a quest before another quest, but they're supposed to come in sequential order. Like the, um, uh, the, uh, yeah, the member quests, 
like Ice Storm Island, Melody Island, and uh, Battle for the Edge. Those three, those are member quests. Um, and so they should have them open, but you have to have a certain amount of UDT points before you can buy them with gems or with membership. And after you, um, after you finish the first one in order, the next one should be able to be bought with coins. Is, that's what I think should happen, but it doesn't. You have to buy with gems. I'm sorry that I'm ranting. I just realized that I was. Anyway, um, Astrid always tells me that I can't do everything for free. It's hard to let go of responsibility sometimes. Oh, this is Eric's plunder. Oh, man, this is supposed to be for the scavenger hunt that ended. Anyway. Eret just rescued a bundle of burnt goods from the hands of dragon hunters and could use a hand sword in the mount. Can you help him? The goods are at the training grounds by the ship. I don't really want to, but they're the only people with quests. I, I, I'm just going to go back to the school. All right. Come on, load. There we go. School. I'm just going to get a quest from the headmaster and see whether or not he has one that's good. Because I don't really want to do those quests because they're not in order. And I hate getting the sandwich one. Because that one is terrible. And it's hard to do. And I don't like getting eggs. Eggs are disgusting in this game for me. I don't want to touch them because they will eat up my gems. Or I'm just going to have to wait 11 hours before the chickens will be done. I don't want to spend three days making one video. Anyway, let's see. What is this? Oh, promo package. Never mind. Alright, what does the headmaster have for us today? He has Ooh, Viking Contraptions History of the School, History of Dragons, and Master of the Flames. Uh let's do history no, I wanna treat myself. Let's do something let's do some that's yeah, let's do this one next. Uh let's do history of the school. Talk to Warthog at the school. Terrible terrors love paper, and they've torn up the School of Dragons history book again. We need your help rewriting the missing pages of the book. You should start with Warthog. He was just in the morning class and has notes. Okay. Let's do this. As soon as it accepts. Alright, here we go. That's weird. It says that I still have a new quest from the headmaster, but I'm trying to go to Warthog. Warthog, not Warthog. Warthog's an animal. Warthog is a person. That's a difference. Big one. And I don't think people should be considered animals because animals are meant for slaughter. And, well, not. I, okay. I wouldn't say slaughter. Well, I just did say slaughter. Anyway, forget I said slaughter. Okay. Animals are meant for. Okay. They are meant to be for humans to use how they please. Whether it be giving them food or keeping them to create more food, like milk or egg, eggs or meat. Anyway, Warthog is not in here. He is in the uh, he's in the lookout. Uh, I'm just gonna pause it to get, before I get through. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, we're here at the lookout, and where's Warthog? I think right. I think that one is Warthog. I'm pretty sure anyway. So, jumpy time. I Oh, 
Okay, there we go. Let's just get... Uh, this is clueless. We're not supposed to get him right here. We're supposed to actually get him behind the lab. But, um, let's just talk to him here because it's easier. Alright, what do you have to say, clueless? Huh? I was writing notes? Well, I had this piece of paper in my hand. The location of the School of Dragons was chosen because the island was a caldera. A caldera is an old volcano that collapses inwards, leaving a ring of mountains. It is the perfect protection for the students and the dragons from possible enemies, and we can train in peace in this island. Alright, paper number two. One more paper from... Speedy Fist. Speedyfist was a little late to class, but he just knows too. He told me he was standing by Thunder Run Racing Tower. Well, he's actually not. He is um actually he's up here. All the way up there. Oh, is he over there? Not up here. Wait a second, does Bucket now have a quest? Okay, no he doesn't. Whew. I thought he did, and I was like, fuck it! How did he just you know? How could you betray me like that? And Speedy Fist is actually found in Ooh, a chest. Can I open this one? And I almost fell off the cliff. Alright. Uh, chest, 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 chest. 90 gold. I think I have enough. It says fish, but it either but it means something else. It means something else. I could I can feel it. And pop. Nope. That didn't work. Alright, it's I can't even move. Great. I'm gonna pause it just for a second until it opens up. Alright, it says that I found a blue rage, and I have no idea what that is. Oh, a blue rage skull. Here, let me look at my backpack. It should be in my... Wait, will it be in my inventory? I don't know. Let's go to backpack. That's a runestone. I hate doing this, because I wish you could just press and hold. Alright, no, it's not in my inventory. Great, I have to go all the way to my backpack to find that map. And the Thunder Run Racing. Wait, I guess I could have... I don't want to fall down there. I guess I could have actually gotten something in the training grounds. Instead of, um, getting from Warthog first. Alright. What do you have to say? Why am I... Why am I saying this? I'm not even tapping on someone... Uh, yeah, not tapping, clicking on someone. My brain is frazzled today. It's another Saturday. I barely got any sleep last night. Ah. <sighs> also, I have an also I have an ear. Ah. Yeah, I don't even know what the word is anymore. Great. I have a plugged up ear. There we go. I got it. Let me just pause for a second until we get there. Alrighty, everyone. Here we are, off on another adventure. Why did I say that? I don't even know. Here's Speedy Fist. Oh, why did I say off on another adventure? We're not doing another quest. We're just talking to Speedy Fist. I really hope he doesn't punch me, though. Because I don't think I'd be able to dodge it. I wasn't late. I'd like, I'd just like to make a fashionable entrance. Here are my notes. Many of these buildings were already here when Hiccup first found the island. Vikings used to live on this island years before School of Dragons began. Okay. We're still missing a few pages. Go talk to Fishlegs. He's always been one of my best students. <sighs> Alright. You know, I'll wait. Mm. Sure, I'll just do it the old-fashioned way and climb. I was thinking that I should just use the map and just teleport to, to Fishlegs. Um, but I can't do that because it's not how it works. You cannot teleport to a person. Anyway. Mm. I was, was thinking to te of teleporting to the, uh, Burke, but apparently Speed of Fist, Warthog, and Clueless do not live on Burke because they don't have a house or houses, depending on if they live together or not, like roommates or something. Oh, I'm also tired, really tired today. I spent a long time over at a friend's house today. 
Fish legs, fish legs, fish legs. I also had all the songs from Imperfect, no, not Imperfect Harmony, it was, um, the episode with, uh, Baby Garfinjord from Race to the Edge. All the songs that they sang are going through my head. Baby Death Song. Per my particular favorite would be the one that Heather sang, but I also like the one that Snot Loud sang. For I am Snot Loud, oi, oi, oi. Yeah. You know, I think out of all of them, Snot has the best voice next to Heather. School of Dragons history is one of my favorite subjects. I've read the book five times now. Here's my favorite fact. The ancient Vikings who lived here before were proud warriors who knew a lot about dragons. They left markings on the columns and created the statues. We've learned a lot from them. Sometimes I just stare at what the Vikings left, and I wonder if they love their dragons as much as I love meat love. You know, fish legs, I don't think they even liked dragons. I don't think that they were friends with dragons. I just think that they were like regular vikings and they just took out their swords and went chop 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 at the vikings tails or something. Astrid is a really good student because she's really competitive. Go talk to her. All right. Ah, she's going to be in her in her original place. Um, Astrid is all, it normally was always over there, but then in the latest update they moved her. Same with Fishlegs being down at the docks. Then he was all the way over there by the lake, near the waterfall, and then they moved him again. Alright, let's talk to Astrid, and then, oh man, not that, there we go. Alright, let's see. Come on. Alright. Wow, I haven't taken that class in a long time. Here's something that I remember. Once Hiccup found the island, Stella called on the called on only the most com competent Vikings to become the teachers for the new school. Wow. So there's incompetent Vikings. Snotlaw might be helpful, but I don't think Snotlaw has ever been helpful to anyone. He uh he's at the school. Alright. Let's just let's go talk to him at the training grounds. Yeah, I can't get up the stairs. Alright, let me just pause it here until we get there. Alright, finally, it came up. My dragon fell asleep. That was weird. Alright, it's not loud. It's not a, it's not man, it's not hat. What do you have to say? Alright. Come on, I don't want to wait any longer for anything. I already waited long enough. Okay. I don't read words, so why are you asking me about books? Oh, Astrid sent you? I'll help you out if you talk to her about how cool I am. Our new headmaster was one of the strongest Viking warriors before he became a teacher. That's all I know. Okay? So go away and bother tough nut. Or just go get the headmaster instead. Eh, hey, like dragon. I need to play with my dragon. Anyway, um, let's see. I don't have to do two quests because, um, it's almost been... 27 minutes. How do I know? It's been 21. Ha 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 I have a timer. That's why. It's already been... It's already been... Twice as long as my timer has been going on. You know what? Okay, I... Mm. I probably said this in the last video. I just don't remember. But I have a timer that I use for um, the screen recorder that I'm using. It says right here. You know, I don't want to say it because they might think I'm, because you never know. I might be, I might think that I'm sponsoring, you might be sponsoring, these people may think I'm sponsoring. Um, yes, I'll give six papers for my backpack. Get these weights off my back. Yes. All right. Um, and, um, uh, it hasn't been registered, so I cannot film more than ten minutes at a time. All right. Amazing look. I said Wook. Like a Wookiee, but no. Amazing work. This book is our legacy, and it means the world to me. Great job. Yay! Alright. Well, I think I can do it in six minutes. Because that's what we have left. History of dragons. Alright. Before you can begin to train your dragon, you want to know where they come from. Our Viking answer started with Gobber's great-great-great-grandfather, Bork the Bold. Um, 
Oh, our our Viking ancestors, starting with Go with Gobber's great 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 grandfather Bork the Bold, have documented the dragon classes on special rune stones. Go find all seven of the stones to learn about our dragon history. All right, title Boulder Fear Mystery Sharp Tracking Stoke. Uh, wait, Sharp Stoker and Strike. They don't have the tracker stuff yet. Yay! I feel like it should be um kept to the same. Um. Seven, or it should be eight, and they should inclu include fear class. Alright, let's see. I know where one of them is. It's right... Okay, it's not there anymore. It's... I mean, do I have to find the first one on my own? Dang it. Uh, where would it be? Where would it be? That's mulch, not a stone. Alright, um... You know, I think I'll just pause it until I find the first stone because I don't know where it is. Oh, there's this. There's one. Never mind. I think it'll be good. Alright, it is the Tidal Stone. Ooh. Alright. Alright. I have a stone. Now what? Do I have to find the other ones? It should have told me. Okay, here we go. Never mind. There we go. Alright. What does he have to say? I every single stone is gonna be something like this. Every single one. Mm. Come on, come on. Ugh. Tidal dragons live in or near the water. The Thunder Drum and the Scaldron are tidal class dragons. To remember these, heed this warning: the tidal tides drown swimmers. All right, find the boulder classroom. Alright. Um. Okay. Let's find this one. It's probably like right next to Caldera or something. Um. Let's see if I can make this. Oh wait, I can't. There's one spot on here that makes it impossible for you to make it across. Zoo. Oh, dang it. I oh, just missed it. Alright, there should be a runestone down here somewhere, and if not, uh, you know what, I think I'll, I'll just pause it until I find another runestone, so just give me one second. I found one, and it is the Tracker. Great. Tracker class dragons can find anything, even if they are miles away from their target. The Deadly Natter is, and the Rumblehorn are Tracker class dragons. Alright, I still have to find the boulder class runestone. Alright, let's see. I'm pretty sure there was one. Okay, there's supposed to be one right here. Or right here. One of those places. Anyway, um, I also seem to remember there was being one right on that beach. But it might be out of the render distance or something. Ooh, a cave. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to pause it here again until I find it. Here's another one. Alright. Stoker-class dragons are hotheads and great fire breathers. The monstrous nightmare, fire worm, typhoon ring, and the terrible terror are all Stoker-class dragons. An easy way to remember this is Stokers must never fall through thick trees. Alright. And another one right here. Strike class dragons are fast, smart, and have powerful jaws. The Skrill and the Night Fury are strike class dragons. Remember with this phrase, strike should nimbly fr- Ah, I just said fry. I meant fly. Alright, um... Got another one. Right here. Boulder. Alright. Boulder class dragons are tough earth dragons. They sometimes eat rocks. The Whispering Death and Gronkle are boulder class dragons. Just remember, boulders way down gobber. Alright, I got another one, but my dragon seemed to pick it up for me. So I couldn't show you what it looked like. We don't know much about mystery class dragons, but we hope to find more about them. The Changewing and the Smothering Spoke Breath and the Bone Epper are mystery class dragons. Remember, remember the saying, mysteries can simply stump brains. Sharp class ruins at the training grounds. Well, I was just at the training grounds. Great. Uh, okay. Yeah. And 
and I found another one. Sharp class dragons are vain and prideful. They also have sharp body parts like spines. The deadly natter and the timberjack are sharp class dragons. Remember this by saying, sharp dragons need thorns. Well done, Ninja Knight for your YT. Now you know more about your dragon and where it comes from. Hacob created a new dragon class called Tracker Class, but we don't have a runestone for it yet. There's so much more to learn about dragons. Ha ha, I already grabbed the Tracker Class rune. They just haven't updated it yet. Alright, that is the... Um... That's the end of that quest. Uh... So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, please smash that like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Um... Also... I don't have anything more to say. So ha! Bye guys, see you in the next episode.